Dorian continues to lash the eastern seaboard of the United States as it nears the Carolinas and may well be making landfall as we go through the next few hours overnight and into a Friday. The possibility that still be seeing us some medium impacts from a flooding, storm surge, damaging winds, as well as a power outages and a tornadoes as it goes across North Carolina and eventually as far north as Atlantic City. Now, the path of Dorian should remain along the coastline, dangerously close as it heads towards a Friday afternoon, still maintaining hurricane status as it weakens slowly. It will be picked up by these west, so these mid-latitude westerlies, which will push it more towards the northeast and also being steered by this area of high pressure, again, forcing it out towards the sea. So it should remain out to sea at least from uh, late on Friday, but more so on Saturday, heading up towards uh, Nova Scotia with a uh, category one and then eventually becoming extra tropical. But by early next week, it may well be affecting the British Isles. So if you are traveling towards uh, Scotland or Ireland, you'll be seeing some gusty winds and uh, some rainy spells here. Meanwhile, out towards the Atlantic, we still have uh, Gabrielle, which is no threat to land. We have uh, one area of disturbance, which has a low chance, at least over the next uh, few days. It won't necessarily become a depression until maybe early next week. And then closer to the island chain, we have uh, one disturbance here, which is again uh, several hundred kilometers uh, east of the Leeward Islands. This one is set to move towards the northwest, so it should avoid the islands and it has a low chance of uh, developing, but it will likely bring some uh, rainfall there as they go through their weekend. But for us here tonight in the Trinidad and Tobago, just occasional clouds are expected. It will be hot and sunny as you go through the first part of your day and during the afternoon, you may get a few showers popping up across Tobago. For Trinidad, also a mostly clear and warm night for quite a few of you. This will lead to a warm start through Friday. The clouds will eventually build through mid-morning, especially along the hillsides and for western areas of Trinidad. There is a medium chance here that we could be seeing a shower and a lower chance that we could be seeing a heavier shower that could be thundery. So in those downpours at this time of the year, it's usual to see street or flash flooding in those are heavier bursts. Now, temperature-wise, looking at a warm night, no lower than 26 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 27 in Tobago, 34 could well be the high in Trinidad, 33 elsewhere, and 32 at Crown Point. Now, at the beach, still looking at those gentle southeasterly winds and smooth seas through the Caribbean, less than one meter through the Gulf of Paria. And if you are heading out in terms of the boating, we do have one high tide, two high tides for you, one at 10 a.m., next one at 9.30 p.m. Now through Saturday and Sunday, conditions remain pretty much fair for Tobago. For Trinidad, there is a low chance of a thunder shower over western areas, but again, it will feel hot as you go through Saturday and Sunday. Now, it seems as though all towards the Caribbean, it's mostly settled. But remember, we are in the peak of the hurricane season. But we'll continue to watch all of those tropical waves coming through the island chains as we go through the next few months. Only a few brief showers expected around Santo Domingo. Some lingering showers for Havana and along the north coast of Cuba. For the Lesser Antilles, there will be that instability caused by that tropical wave. So some passing showers expected here. More dampness expected for Bridgetown and Kingston. With Kingstown in St. Vincent, I always get a bit of ITCZ moisture building up there. But for Georgetown, partly sunny skies and a high of 33 degrees Celsius. But for us, we'll continue to see a hot conditions, hazy at times, and some of those showers erupting along the hillsides and western areas of Trinidad. So that's your weather, and that's it for me.